What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Kibio Games. My name is Juan. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. This video is going to be about the games that are being added to the collection in September of 2022. We have a great amount of games and they're all, some of them have been pre-orders or things I ordered in the past, finally coming in. Uh, one, two, one. One of them is a Kickstarter. So that one finally came in earlier this month. And yeah, it's actually, I played it a couple times because friends have copies, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah. So let's start doing some different stuff. Let's start this video now. Wow. Cool, so we have Massive Darkness 2, the Kickstarter just came in. It looks like a lot of stuff, definitely does, and it is a lot of stuff, but it was, I was very fortunate to be able to back it out of, I guess I missed the initial back, and the retailer was actually backing it, uh, and they shipped it out to me, and I was super excited, but Massive Darkness 2 came in, and if you don't know what this game is, let me make some small room here. It's basically a dungeon crawling game. It's a dungeon crawling game that involves, it's a dungeon crawling game by Come On Games, and involves a lot of light bringers and a lot of characters who are heroes, they're wizards, barbarians, archers, rangers, all that stuff, and they all came in this box. And with the Kickstarter alone, I mean, it came with a lot of extra content, and the content is super exciting because a lot of it's stretch goals and free stuff that came with the game. So, Rainbow's Crossing was actually the most exciting one I was excited about. It's like the most exciting one. Uh, I just thought this was a, a must-have. It's super, super cool. Has like a big bear, a big colorful bear, and I just thought the colors alone, the color temple used for this, was super, super cool. So this is Master Darkness 2, and it's a lot of different stuff, a lot of content that I want to kind of put on the channel. They have Fey Folk. We have a big old demon dragon that's halfway off the camera. We have things falling on the ground. But yeah, War Souls. Even a content, so there's a couple of things actually. The zombie side fantasy crossover pack, which is for zombie side, but I didn't really like zombie side too much, so probably gonna give this away or sell it, who knows, we'll see. And of course, it's going to go on the shelf right away because I have played it before. So, without further ado, let's on go on to the next one. Okay, so we have a couple of things actually. So it's actually gonna be Power Rangers. The RPG that just came in finally. I pre order these dice and stuff. They're all colors of Power Rangers. I am a really big fan of all the GoGo -Go Power Rangers stuff. I've been reading the comics ever since I was a kid. I've been watching the TV shows. Just to like a quick uh, food for thought, these TV shows have, do not do the series justice at all. Reading the comics gives everyone substance. It makes them look better. Basically, what I have here are the RPG dice set. Honestly, they're just plain dice, but I had to get them because they even have the Power Morpher here. The Power of the Lightning Bolt, I forgot what it was called at this moment. But they also have the power coins, and I got all six rangers along with the new adventure booklet. So this is going to be a DM screen, uh, this is going to be the adventure, and I also even got a character journal. Got it specifically because it was this. Honestly, none of this stuff is necessary to play the game. All you really need is the core rule book and maybe an adventure, so something like this. Uh, however, I love Power Rangers, so I decided to get this one, and yeah. So this is actually the miniatures. The miniatures are really cool as well. Not at all needed in any way, shape, or form, but since I'm the biggest fan of Power Rangers, I love them so much, I decided to get everything. So this is just the dice, the miniatures, the adventure book, as long with, uh, along with the character journal, and the DM screen, which actually looks have, have really cool art. Let me show, let me show you that really fast. Yeah, this looks super cool. So, this is going to be the back, and this is the front here. Right here, just like this. Yeah. So all these games now coming up are going to be all games I got from retail. So let's actually dive right in. So level 99, uh, actually, I, level 99 games put out a game called Bullet Heart and Bullet Star. So the games are actually pretty similar. Just one has expansions for the other one with more characters. Make sure I have these straight up. These look good. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, and I was really intrigued by the gameplay. It was on Kickstarter, but yet again, it's another game that I kind of like neglected. And I was like, eh. I was going through a phase where I don't want to back too many things, and I didn't back them. But luckily enough, they came to retail, which is what all publishers should be doing with their games. That way, we can have these games out more, and none of that FOMO stuff that Kickstarter or California started, which I fall subject to a lot of the time as well. So, Bullet Heart, Bullet Star. Basically, you're just shooting. Uh, you're shooting each other. Shooting each other, I guess. But in the board game. And the bullets are coming down. You're kind of creating a puzzle, like almost like Tetris, trying to make shapes, trying to connect the connect them all and make shapes or color matches, basically in straight lines or figures. And those bullets essentially get sent out or get sent out to your enemy or opponent. It's a really cool like re-implementation in a board game that I haven't seen done before. And I was like, I had to get the game. And they even have some really cool deluxified components. I didn't get those. I got just the retail version, which is good and good enough for me. So this is going to be Bullet Star and Bullet Heart. So, coming up next, Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. The new stuff came out, the Time Force pack, and also the minions. So these are the minions from the Time Force, or the kind of like the baddies. This comes with just extra content to the Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid game already. 
Uh, I have so much content as it is, and I think a big complaint to people is that there's too much content, but I love the content. I love Power Rangers, like I said. This is gonna be another one that's coming in. So, this is gonna be, this is gonna be just extra, like, characters and more scenarios and more baddies to fight. Honestly, you don't need all this stuff to play the game. All you need is the base game. I don't, this is not the base game, by the way. You'll need the base game before you can play this stuff. However, just extra content and more stuff to do. So, let's go on to the next. This is a smaller box. So the smaller box is Heroes, so deck, Prior is a deck building game. The RPM Getting Gear expansion. This just came out. Same thing. Honestly, this game's actually really cool. The Power Rangers deck building game is a really, really cool game. So I don't mind having all the expansions and playing as different characters and enemies and villains and all the new cards are coming in. I am still waiting for the day that Renegade Games puts out a co-op version or addition to this. This would be super, super cool with a cooperative version to it and I hope they do that soon. But for now, competitive is fine. And yeah, this is the RPM getting gear. RPM is just a series of Rangers. And this is not the base game. This is just an expansion. You can either get Zero Rangers or the original one. Do I have it here, by the way, that I can show you? I do not have it on here. I believe it's actually in my board game bag because I just brought it to a game night. But yeah, let's actually, uh, yeah. I'm actually really excited to play this this expansion. I played the other ones already, and so far I'm having so much fun. I wish I could find a dedicated group to play like every other four or five days, I guess. Even online would be cool. But yeah. Power Rangers RPM, Getting Gear, Expansion by Renegade Games. For sale by Eagle Griffin Games. Really, really old game, by the way. I The only reason why I bought it is because I think it's similar to Kiwi, and I heard someone talk about it the way it has a really cool auction system in it, and I really wanted to try it. That is honestly as far as that goes by Stefan Doras, For Sale by Eagle Griffin Games. I will put out content on this, maybe a short or a, probably a short, and explain the game. I don't think a full video would be really necessary for this one. Ah, however, I don't know. We'll see. Villainous. Villainous is going to be the, this is Villainous, the expansion by Free Villainous. Mythic and Mischief, Mischief and Malice. Uh, Loki's in it. I was really skeptical about Villainous, but the moment they put Marvel IP on it, I was like, ah, maybe I should give it a shot. It was actually really fun. I actually had a lot of fun. I'm not mad. This one comes in with Loki, Modok, and Madam Mask. The game's honestly really simple. It's not a complex game. It's not meant to be the, high, the highest rated game on like anywhere, any other, any scale. It's just a fun Marvel game that you put up, you play, you do a little bit of mischief, and that's it. You play as your, uh, as your favorite villains from Marvel. That's really it. So I am really excited for this one. This is Mythic and Mischief. It just came in, I think, this beginning of this month. When was this released, by the way? Actually, this has been out for a while, but I don't think it's been really hard to find or out of print, and it finally came back into the store. So, villainous. Awesome! Twilight Inscription! So, <sighs> this game has been one of the coolest games ever. I have so much fun playing this. It's a roll and run experience, and it's supposed to be a little more heavier complex. I, you know, people are trying to compare it and say that mirror it to like Twilight Imperium, which is like Fantasy Flight games, like flagship game, right? But it's really not comparable in my opinion. It has similar aspects to it, but they're not alike in any way, shape, or form. Twilight Inscription is super cool. I should be having a review coming out as well. Game is awesome. I definitely think you should pick it up if you haven't. And if you don't like heavier or roll around experiences, if you don't like roll around experiences because they may be too light, or if you don't like roll around experiences, I think you should just try this one out. At very minimum, this one. This Twilight Inscription. So, Hadrian's Wall by Renegade Games as well. It's a roll and write. Uh, one of the most, like, I think most talked about roll and write games that people love and adore. I decided to pick it up because I played Twilight Inscription. I was like, hey, People are comparing this and saying like which one's better, which one's this. I want to find out for myself. Pick up Hadrian's Wall. I am super excited for this game. I heard so many good things. I mean, everybody talks about it. It's critically acclaimed. Everyone loves it. And I want to find out for myself if it compares up to Play Inscription. If it doesn't, I mean, it's okay. I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it, but we'll see what happens. Garp Hill Games. Also, so many other games coming out by Garp Hill Games. I'm really excited to try them all and eventually get to all to the table. I haven't even played. There's a lot I haven't played, actually. So let's not go over those. But yeah, Twilight, so Twilight Inscription and Hadrian's Wall are going to be one of the two games that I'm going to compare a lot. Uh, and maybe I'm wrong and maybe they can't be compared, but we're going to find that out. So yeah, let's figure that out. Here is Red Raven Games, Ryan Lockett, Now or Never, Near and Far, Above and Below should be here soon, I believe. And I'm really excited to try these games out. I tried them out once, I tried Above and Below once. And Near and Far is the sequel to Above and Below. This is the third game. Yeah, so Above and Below, Near and Far, and Now or Never. Those are the three games. And I am super, super pumped to get to try them out. 
They, uh, I've been waiting for these to come back, like, in print for the longest time. If I really like these, I might consider Sleeping Gods. It just depends. But I like the Bone Below. If I like these two as well, then we're going to find out what happens. Above and Below, I played at a friend's house, by the way. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I want to play the whole campaign. Unfortunately, he already has a campaign going, so he only really taught me the first game. And now I'm going to be able to play all, my, all for myself with a game group. So, Near and Far uh, by Ryan Lockett. And now for the final game. Familiar Tales. Familiar Tales by Plat Hat Games. I think I've talked about this before, and I thought I actually have it right here too, but I think Stuff Fables, if I move this out of the way, you can probably see it. It's right here. I think Stuff Fables is a phenomenal game. It was my gateway game. I love that game so much. It's so much fun. I still got to play through Old Brother, but I played through all the Stuff Fables, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. The moment Familiar Tales was announced, I was like, I got to get this game, but I've been on a little bit of like a waiting a little bit to buy the game just because like it's... I mean, I think the game price alone was pretty expensive, but I th wanted to get the game really bad because I've been a fan of Stuff Fables. I played Aftermath, and I see, like, the love in Aftermath, and I think supposedly this one kind of incorporates a little more Aftermath into it, but more with Stuff Fables. Like, they kind of, like, mix the two together. It's from what I understand. And I'm really excited to play this game. So, this is going to be Familiar Tales by Plat Hat Games. It's a storyboard game, a story crafting game, but it's played in a open book, right? It's like an us... Uh, ooh... Dungeon book? Story book. It's a story. It's in a book, and I love it, and I can't wait to play it. And that was it. That's all the games that have been out of the collection in September. It was a lot of games, but it was also a lot because Master of Darkness 2 had a bunch of games like involved with it. So, so far, so good. Thank you for making it this far, if you made it this far. I appreciate it. If you did, and you wanted to drop a comment, let me know if you, maybe I made a mistake, or if you purchased what games you purchased this month. Definitely let me know. Drop a like. That's awesome as well. If you want to subscribe, that's great. And if you don't, that's cool too. Thank you for making this far and watching the video. That is super awesome. I definitely want to hear from you and let me know what you think. Have a good one.